guys, my name is Gustavo David Ortiz and this is Agent Hustle. Today, in today's episode, we're going to be chatting with Regina Cruz, a Keller Williams veteran, who's going to be chatting about, uh, who's going to be speaking a little bit about what she does with Expires. We were chatting earlier about some of the things that she does with Expires and I thought it was a really great idea. It's something that new agents can do, veterans can do. So can you just kind of tell a little bit about what it is that you do with Expires? I thought it was really, really novel. Okay. Thank you guys for having me. One of the things that I think is very helpful considering we have low inventory right now, it's October 2017, is that if you're an agent, go ahead in the, into the MLS under withdrawn or expired listings and you can go back as far as you'd like and just see if there's any homes that are expired or withdrawn on the MLS and possibly look for a buyer that is pre-qualified in order to find inventory. Go ahead, if you can find a phone number, call that person or actually go to the house and door knock them. I've found that when you can get face to face with somebody, your conversion is a lot higher sure. if you're looking to get the listing or to find a house for your buyer, which of course you always want to re you always want to negotiate some sort of commission before you bring the buyer to that seller's house. Of course, of course. So essentially what you're talking about is you're going to a, an expired home, a home that has been listed but then they expired, and you're basically offering to list them for a specific buyer that you have in mind, mm -hmm. right? Without necessarily putting them on the MLS or anything like that. You're essentially trying to convert them into sort of a, hey, I have a buyer right now who's interested in your property. Would you be willing to sell your property to my specific buyer? Is that right? Essentially, yeah. You want to negotiate some sort of commission. So in case you bring your buyer to the house and they like the house, that you'll get paid for taking them and doing the job as a realtor, negotiating and all that good stuff. So you want to make sure that you have something up front negotiated with that seller. But if the buyer doesn't like the house, then you can keep in contact, follow up with that person and possibly get the listing later on too. I see, I see. So it's really kind of a twofold. You, mm -hmm. you either get them on the first one or you've shown them that you can bring buyers to their home and if the first one doesn't bite, you can kind of let them know, hey, listen, I can bring more of these if you want me to, but I'm gonna need to list your home in order to do that. Correct. I think that's awesome. So this is Regina Cruz uh, showing some really amazing uh, sort of tricks of the trade to kind of get you your feet, um, get you on your feet as a new agent, or if you're a veteran and you haven't tried this, this sounds like it would be an excellent idea. Very low cost, seems to be pretty easy. You gotta just have, you know, um, you gotta have the heart to be able to do to actually do a walk up and do a door knock for these expires. But uh, that's it. That's that's the rant for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please share if you have um, you know any thoughts about this. Uh, please comment below if if there's any kind of uh, anything you want to say about what you just heard uh, Regina speak about. Regina, where can people find you? I work at Keller Williams Realty Classic Three Office in Claremont, Florida, and my phone number is three five two nine eight eight. 7488 if you need to give me a call please do awesome so thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys next time peace